Hello there, my name is Chelsea Utek, expat and speculative fiction writer. Today is going to be a boxing video. So if you were here for an unboxing video, I'm sorry, this is literally the opposite of that. No, you're still here? Okay, cool. So I have a mini writer's retreat coming up with my critique partner where we're gonna go to Cosbeggy for the weekend. And I thought it'd be fun to have writing survival kits. So I'm going to be putting those together. I did some research online and I looked at a couple of examples of what other people came up with to put in their writing retreat survival packs or emergency kits or whatever it was they were calling it. And there are some really cute ones. So I wanted to do something like this. However, I live in Tbilisi, Georgia, so some of these really specific items I'm not going to be able to get. So because of that, I've put together a less specific writing list, and I'm gonna find items that fulfill all of these, all of these little tick boxes. So what needs to be in a good writer's survival kit? Uh, something to eat, <laughs> something to drink, something to inspire, something to challenge, something to de-stress with, and stationary, of course, you know, be it drafting or organizing or whatever it is. So these are the items that I want to find and then I want to try to make it cute and pretty. I don't know how long this will take me to put together because you never really know here what's going to be in a store until you are shopping in that store. So I might have to visit a couple of different places. And I know looking online made me pretty jealous to see all the cute stationery that's out there. And it made me so want to go back to Korea just to go shopping for some stationery. But I'm gonna challenge myself to not order anything online. I also don't have time to get it shipped to Georgia, but not order anything online and just use things that I can get here or things that I already have to put this together. There is a little Korean shop branded shop in the mall here. We'll see. We'll see what we can come up with. I've got a couple things started. I'm going to start with um, cutting out these spiffy little leaves for um, some of the decorations. So I'll we'll start on that today and then go shopping to a couple different places to see how I can uh, find these items that I want. I think that I got everything that was on my list in one way or another. It's a bit of a mix. Some of the stores I thought that I would have a lot didn't. The Korean store, for instance, is all Marvel related things, which didn't really go with the vibe I was going for. But with a combination of different stores that I went to and some things that I had at home and a little bit of DIY, I think that I've made it work. So um, I got some some writing snacks. Uh, these look really good. I should have gotten a bit more, I guess. It is, I should have double checked before <laughs> I started talking. I guess it's Italian. I got it from Euro product, but it's a nougat with hazelnut looks, that looks really good. And um, for something to drink, just some instant coffee packets. They will have nice food and they will have coffee where we're going, but in case of emergencies. Um, Something to inspire was kind of a harder one. I don't know what I was thinking. However, nothing gets me more inspired than a blank notebook, and I thought that this one was pretty cute. There was another one that was a contender. It says, who dares wins in English on one side, and I imagine it says the same thing in Georgian on the other, but she speaks Georgian, so I know that as soon as you actually speak the language, it gets a little bit less exciting to just have random words on things in that language. So I decided to go with this one and I included a little note inside for her. So hopefully that takes that box of something that's a little bit of inspiration. My something to challenge was my favorite one that I came up with. It has a uh, these cards I made that have an author on one side and then on the other side it has a quote about writing and then a challenge to go with that quote. So there are 15 of them. I tried not to repeat anybody but um, Stephen King and 
Ernest Hemingway are super affordable, so I doubled up on those guys. But hopefully this will be a fun challenge uh, for when we're sitting around that we can grab one of these, or if we get stuck, we can grab one and do that little challenge there. Um, to de-stress, I had something in mind that I thought it would be like a stress ball, or I don't know, it was something like, do you remember those fidget spinners or those like little clicky cubes? I don't know, I thought I would find something like that and it didn't happen, but I found the next best thing. Uh, Cha-cha. Of course, if you're here in Georgia, you know exactly what this is. It is um, Georgian vodka, it says on the bottle, but vodka is a very, very nice word for it. It is not the same, it is serious business. So, I guess if we get really stressed, we've got that to lean back on. And then of course, uh, stationery. It is such a mix, for instance, these were ones that I've been carrying around to multiple countries that have been like prizes for students. Um, so I've included some cute pencils. Uh, this I got from a local store just to help organize. Um, it's a, randomly a Chinese brand. And then I have something for if you make mistakes. I'm going to label this one for small mistakes for big mistakes and for really big mistakes. <laughs> I hope she doesn't burn anything, but I thought it was kind of hilarious. So that's what I have to put together into this. I'm gonna decorate it. I've got a um, gift bag. I've got randomly some twine that was in my house. I did not bring it here, but it's mine now. And these guys. So I've already filled some of them out, but not all of them. So I'm going to start putting this together and um, we're going tomorrow, so I better get to it. Ta-da! It's finally put together and good to go, so I suppose that, that means it's time for me to actually go pack for this writer's retreat. Uh, what would you guys put in your writer survival kits? Let me know down below, uh, did I miss anything? Do you need any of these things? <laughs> Good luck in your writing endeavors and I'll see you after my writer's retreat.